Gun depression. One of the most important aspects of a tank and yet one that is often overlooked. What limits your tank's gun depression and most importantly, how can you use it in battle? There are two things that can limit your gun depression. Whatever is in the way of your cannon barrel and whatever is in the way of the cannon breach. Chassis limitations are evident by the positioning of the turret relative to the hull. In tanks like the American M8 Scott for example, the turret is so close to the frontal slope that there is no way the hull could ever interfere with the gun's uh, movement. On the other hand, if you point your gun backwards towards the elevated rear, all of a sudden you can't depress your gun quite as far anymore. Tall tanks with bad gun depression can even be abused by the enemy, as is demonstrated by this uh, Soviet T-28 which can't even get its gun down on the M22 Locust that's parked beside it. Another factor that limits gun depression is how much space the breach has inside of the turret. In cases like the IS-6, the turret is so flat that the gun can barely move down without hitting the roof. On the opposite side of the spectrum, the M4 Sherman has so much space between the breach and the roof of the turret that it can generate 10 degrees of gun depression. But why would you ever want to limit yourself to having flat turrets then? Well, as useful as gun depression can be in various situations, it has absolutely no use on flat terrain such as open fields and cities. A flat turret allows for a lower profile, exposing less of the armor and making it harder for the enemy to even spot you in the first place. Alternatively, you can actually have both a low profile and still have good gun depression by simply removing the roof. Examples of this are the M8 and the Dicker Max, which can both maintain relatively low profiles, while showing incredibly good gun depression values of 20 and 15 degrees respectively. However, your crew is very exposed this way. Any kind of artillery strike, high explosive shell or even aircraft strafing you will most likely result in the death of your tank. But why is gun depression so important if it has no use on flat terrain then? Well, it's all about the hills. The best armor any tank can have is solid ground between itself and the enemy. But you still need to somehow be able to shoot at them. This is where gun depression comes in, allowing you to crest over hills, rocks and barriers without exposing your hull. The value of this is shown in the Dicker Max, which, despite not having the armor to stop any shell fired at it, can still use its good gun depression to poke over hill, take a shot and roll back into cover, all whilst showing the least of itself as possible. There is a third way of manipulating gun depression which, in my own opinion, is by far the best. Instead of moving the gun, why not move the tank itself? Hydro pneumatic suspension is currently only featured in some of Japan's top tier tanks. But R would make them incredibly adaptive to all kinds of different environments. This system allows you to individually control the suspension of your tank so that it can lower it completely to maintain a low profile even on flat terrain, raise it completely for better off-road performance and to shoot over tall cover, or even adjust the angle by lowering one side and raising the other, allowing you to get your gun down further over hills. This can also be used to even out your tank on slopes so that you can maintain your gun sight horizontal and shoot accurately at long range even on rough terrain. So to recap, having good gun depression allows you to shield most of your tank while still being able to shoot at the enemy. Where can you use gun depression you ask? Well, I can't show you every single spot on every single map. This is something you'll just have to figure out on your own. But don't be afraid to experiment around a little. Even on most city maps you can find spots where you can use gun depression to shield yourself. And it's always better to have some cover than to have none. This episode was suggested by Feral Rage on Twitter. If you have any ideas on topics you'd like me to cover, leave them in the comment section down below or as a tweet at MGB on YouTube. If you have learned anything new, do leave it a like rating and share this video with your friends. And if you're new around here and like to comment, hey, check out the channel for more, you might find something you like. As always lads, my name is Mike Boom, and thank you for watching.